Match, how do you sum up that one? Oh, it's definitely uh, disappointing. Obviously, um, the boys have been putting a lot of work in, and uh, yeah, we didn't get the rewards early, and then you know we we lost our way a little bit. You know, they were able to play a pretty strategic game, Cronulla, where they they have been doing that for a number of weeks now and getting fair results, where they were able to sneak up short sides, and you know, we didn't adjust at times to get things right, so and it hurt us. Most, I mean. Canola actually didn't play that well in terms of their errors and the amount of ball that they coughed up. So there was opportunities there for you guys to win it. Is that what hurts the most? It wasn't yeah, like you're outplayed. Yeah, we didn't capitalise on our opportunities. That was the, I guess, the disappointing part. You know, where, you, know you build pressure in our game, and if you don't build pressure, you, know, you put yourself under uh, times where you spend time on your line. So, you know, and that's what we had to do. We did a lot of tackling down inside our own twenty and. Uh, you know, you've got to play the game down at the other end at some stages and put a bit of work into the opposition. What's going wrong with the, the attack at the moment? That try at the end was, I think, your first try since round three. Yeah. Why isn't it clicking? Uh, well, against Melbourne, everyone was praising us about how we're going about things. we just got to keep working hard with you know, how, we're, how we're wanting to play. Uh, you know, we've had a couple of changes at times with our spine, but we don't... Yeah, that's part of it. That's part of what the, um, you know, going through these sorts of periods are when you've got a few injuries. So we just got to look at how we do things. Um, yeah, and they were moving pretty quick in their attack, and something there that we need to make sure that we do. You mentioned the Melbourne game, but does it feel like you've gone backwards since then? No, uh, I wouldn't say we've gone backwards. I mean, we've just been challenged. You know, we're, we're looking at how we're how we how we want to play. You know, I've spoke to the players about how we want to attack. Um, you know, and we've got to keep working hard to. Look at the little areas that you know allows you to score a try in millimetres on the sideline. Is it match? I mean, that's five in a row, and obviously the, the headlines will keep coming this week. It's just gets harder. Just yeah. keep rolling up and rolling out with my team. I've got, a, I've got a committed team that are fighting to um, try and get ourselves through this. You know, and that's what we're uh, that's what we're doing. It's, it's it's five in a row, but it it's easy to put to kick stones if you look back and look at effort. But every week there's an element there. We're putting in the effort every week in training. We're, we're, there's an element of confidence and, and things like that. Um, and we're just these little things. We just got to keep building to put into place. So every week, it's it's you know, we're, we're, don't get, we're bashing each other and things like that. And um, you know, even out there, there was there was some effort there, but just some certain things that didn't go our way. And um, we've just got to keep going. We just got to keep going. We know we've got a strong team there. We just got to put all these little things together to make that happen. How do you keep them up? Like the morale must—it's got to be affected a little bit. Yeah, no, mate. It's, it's, it's what you do at training. It's what you do at training. You, you put in the effort at training. You can do everything on the field. You know, the, the level of, of, of pressure you put yourself at training is what to expect on game day. So we keep those standards and we keep that process. And and like I said, these little things that come with it. And these are all teaching things with such a young group. We'll, I, I know we'll be right. We've got a strong group. Do you, Zero and five. Is that a reflection of your roster or is it a reflection of the way they're performing? I mean, or is it both? How, how do you sum that up? Um, I think I'll, I'll go back to what Jimmy's saying. Well, you know, we're establishing a, a foundation of all the young kids that we've got, and you can look at uh, many excuses, but we won't go down that path. It's about the players that step out are the ones that are out there to commit. Um, and I, in agreement with what Jimmy's saying, you know, there's a lot of good things that are continually growing amongst this group, uh, and you see that over the last sort of three or four weeks, where you see some strong performances and times that lapse. We've just got to stay at it. Uh, you know, they're they're reaching some high levels at training all the time, uh, and that's because the group wants to fight to make sure that we get to to obviously where uh, you know, the opposition were today. And you obviously want to be here for the long game, like you talk about building steps and playing the long game and whatnot. Yep. But do, do you concern, grow concern about? Whether it's going to be outside noise, whether it be noise about your future at zero and five and what's ahead. Yeah, my focus is on catching the players. That's all I do. I, you know, high regard for this group, uh, and I've said probably a number of times over the last couple of weeks, I'm, I'm enjoying this challenge of you know because clubs do go through these stages at some stage, and you know it's a cycle of where clubs are at at times. You know, we're just at a moment in time where we need to keep working hard through this period. Uh, you know, you can allude to a team last year that was in a similar situation. They got a couple of players back and various things like that, and all of a sudden things clicked. Uh, you know, I've got a few that will come back in this this week, so you know it gives me the ability to be able to look at performance. Major Andrew John said in commentary he's worried that it might not be rock bottom for the Tigers yet. How do you respond to something like that? 
Oh, I'll disagree. I think I disagreed with Joey uh, a couple of weeks ago <laughs> uh, around a few things. But uh, oh, look, he's he's, he's um, able to you know, have his comments and those sorts of things. But you know what um, what I do see is what's going on internally, uh, and you know I've been fortunate to be able to see what it looks like at a number of organisations and uh, the commitment of the players um, every week have really turned up to to do a lot of the things that uh, Jimmy alluded to, and that's how you build. You need to build all little areas of your game to be able to then nail it. Can you understand the frustration of the fans, Madge, but because what they've seen over the last couple of years is that there has been changes and there's been talk of improving, improving, and then this happens again to start the year. Can you can you understand their frustration with it? Oh, of course, mate. You know, every fan wants to win. We all want to win. But you can't just wave a magic wand when you've got to change a few things within an organisation. Uh, it's about you know looking at all the smaller areas. I mean, there's so many good things that are going on in our club from junior levels upwards. But it takes time. We haven't been able to do those sorts of different things in the past. And that plays a big part in being able to establish yourself, establish yourself sorry, um, to be the clubs that sit at the top. But you, you said after the Titans game, you just wanted to see effort and energy, right? That was the most thing you wanted to see. Was, was that, like, to, today enough effort and energy for you for an NRL team? Uh, I challenged my team on that one today. I thought there were times there where we, we needed to be sharper in that area, yeah. Because, so, like, the ball's going over the sideline, they were just going to keep them in, like, missed tackles, you know, close to the trial line. Is that good enough for an NRL team, in your opinion? Yeah, we'll, we'll challenge each other on that department. Do you, do you have the depth to make changes? Do you want to make changes next week? I know you've got some guys coming back, but yeah, do you have the depth no, to make I'll, changes I'll, if you do? This week and work out which way we want to go. Okay. What well, was with Dane Laurie today? What's the situation with him? COVID. Okay, COVID. so he just turned up to the ground and tested positive? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Jimmy, the Bill for obviously the face of this Mate, streak at the moment. I'll tell you what, and not so long ago I was in a similar situation at Penrith and every, and you know we had a strong group. You know, Look at Penrith now. I mean, you can't give up, you know, and at times at Penrith it felt like that, but they didn't look at them now. And, and I know that group in there are in the same situation. They want to strive for success, they want to be better each week. Uh, and I feel the, the similarities here. You know, all these little things when you're in the crossroads and all that, they all add up to something. You take the good and the bad and all that, but you, you keep striving for success, you'll, you'll get there. Jimmy, just quickly on the stupidity of the pitch invader, um, how dangerous was that? He was within like, you know, less than a metre from players in the middle of the field there with a the flare. Yeah, well, yeah, I um, haven't really had a, 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 a thought about it, but um, you're right that to get that close to players, um, things like that, who knows what his intentions were. Uh, I, I guess, you know, having this situation, and luckily no, nothing happened, but having this situation will put a bit more urgency into, you know, upcoming games. And just one on Jackson, so just Jackson Hastings back next week. Do you have an idea? Is he definitely coming back into the halves or is he at 13? Especially after today, I don't think you broke the line. I'll go through that performance and decide which way we go. Yeah. So it's up in the air, whether it's halves or not. As I said, I'll go through uh, through the game and have a look at uh, you know, how we'll uh, you know, move forward. Thanks,